Hey, this is Justin here at ETR Truck Center. We've just unloaded another C7 block and a cylinder head from the machine shop. And I'm gonna show you guys and girls how to do an injector cup job on this C7 head. We've got everything here needed to remove and then install a genuine Caterpillar injector cup. I've got the O-ring part numbers, the tooling groups that we use, one in particular, and some other things, so follow along. The first thing I want to talk about in detail is our tooling groups on the table. The far right here is a uh, tool that I don't particularly like to use. It's from Freedom Tools. And basically, the big die you see right here cuts threads into the old injector cup. And then this tool threads into it and pulls it out of the head. I do not like that. It's a, just a not a fun process. I've also tried this tool group here. Um, basically, you use a drill bit and a long tap, and then these two bolts there thread into the cup, and then the snap-on snatch bar would pull the old cup out. It does not work well either. So last but not least, this is a Caterpillar tool group. It is perfect for this job. Part number of a 1514832. It actually pierces in four corners the injector sleeve and then removes it that way. Um, it, it does damage the cup obviously, but you know, we're gonna install a new cup. So if you're gonna do this job, I would highly recommend the Caterpillar tool group to do the injector sleeves. Uh, you can also see our injector sleeves, uh, brand new cat ones, part number of a 227-1200 is the sleeve itself. The top O-ring is a part number of a 310-7255. And of course, the one below it is the greener looking one, a 310-7257. So let's get started on how to properly remove and then install these injector cups. All right, we're gonna start by removing all six of the injector cups from our rebuilt head. I wanted to demonstrate exactly what this tool does as you're turning it counterclockwise it actually swedges out from the inside and uses these pins here to pierce the cup and turn pulling the cup out of the head with our puller. So let's go along the line here and go ahead and remove them all. All right, let's remove number six. I'm gonna drop your tooling into the hole and bottom them out by hand. And turn the screw counterclockwise as much as you can by hand. This is starting the seating process. Use a half inch wrench. So the, the four pins are starting to pierce into the cup now. And we're gonna put another wrench down here at the bottom. This is a three quarter wrench we can get some better leverage. You gotta get these pretty doggone tight before we can remove the cup. All right, slide this collar on there. A center guide, rolling washer. And nut. And it's as simple as using our ratchet. Inch and eighth socket. And pull the cup out of the head. Now that the injector cup is removed, we're going to use our wrenches to remove the cup from the tool. Alright, let's move on to number five. Remove our nut washer and guide. And down in the hole.
now that our injector cups are out, we're gonna start the cleaning process. Just got this little wire extension on a angle drill. We're gonna use it to clean our holes out. You wanna make sure you get any of the debris left over from the retaining compound where the cup was originally seated and where the o-ring surface is clean. All right. Looks good there. We're gonna spray it out with a little brake clean. and move on to the next hole. We're also gonna go back and use this wire brush adapter to clean the upper bore in the hole. All right, I want to show you what the finished product looks like before we install the new cups. Nice and clean. All right, now we're gonna install our retaining compound on the lower board here. A nice little coat. All the way around. And then we're gonna put our Loctite glue on the upper two O-rings. This is the Seal Lock brand. Just a light coat on the upper two O-rings. Just like so. And we're gonna install this one right here in number three. Push it in by hand as far as you can. Hammer. Here, bottom out. Remove your tool, and that's it. All right, here's our finished product. Got all six in. Everything looks great. You wanna make sure you don't see any cut O-rings or anything from the top side which I've already looked and everything looks good. So I hope you guys and girls enjoyed watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.